What is going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be giving a quick a quick discussion video on or doing a quick discussion video on all the news that dropped. So just to recap you, if you haven't watched my video covering all the news that dropped today, go back and watch that now. It's only about four minutes and it will catch you up to date in a little bit more detail. But simply put, right, they have announced a new information on Master League, edit mode and team lobbies or friendly lobby matches. So we're not going to be getting Master League uh, until during 2023. So Master League won't be coming until 2023. Edit mode won't be coming until winter 2022. And the lobby match won't be coming until after summer 2022. So we could potentially be waiting, I reckon, maybe six months for edit mode or longer. And then maybe like nine months for Master League based on this. Unless they release Master League in like January or February, we're going to be waiting eight, nine months. Now, Look, lads, right, I, anyone that knows me or anyone that knows Pez Universe, or if you're new to the channel, welcome in. But we are massive, massive fans of Master League, of Edit Mode. I mean, it's it's pretty much our main, um, it's our main thing, um, you know, Master League and having Master League uh, seasons and, and uh, having all those stories. And you'll see here that you're going to have your nostalgic memories uh, flowing here with Pez United winning the Division 1 Cup back in Pez 5. I mean, this was what Pez was all about. This was classic Pez. And speaking of classic Pez, we all have our memories in Master League of getting, you know, injury winner goals with Henri back in Pez 3 and 4. Huge shout out to Shales for these clips as usual, the OG master, retro master that he is. But we all have these huge memories, lads, and this nostalgic like buzz that we get from looking at these clips and thinking back, oh, I remember Castolo, I remember Menanda, I remember, you know, oh, what player had those white boots or red boots? He was really fast. Or, oh, I remember when I bought Pato or Henri or Shevchenko or like when Messi and Ronaldo started to burst through and they were absolute beasts. And we all have our favorite players. We all have our favorite memories of Master League. You know, so which it makes it harder to wait for a Master League to come. Um, because, like, obviously they've tried different things. We're seeing cutscenes here. But the whole reason why I liked Master League myself was that I could create my own universe within Master League. I could create my own teams, my own kits, my own players, my own storylines, my own dramas. It was like a soap opera, you know, with Roy Keane. And you can see here I'm doing a classic Master League. This was in Pez 2020 where they had the cutscenes introduced. Um, just as you're starting your Master League, Ryan Giggs coming up there to, to say best of luck on the journey ahead of us, boss. But like that was the whole point of Master League was like, I remember back in Pez 5, Pez 6, coming up all along, you know, having your team and then you'd like download your team onto a memory card and bring it over to your friends and you'd be playing with your Master League team. Like we all have that nostalgic buzz, as I say, because Master League was in essence, Pez. Like, that's what Pez was back then. There was no online aspect of it. And obviously, edit mode was equally as important. You know, you had them kind of the yin to each other's yang or mix and match. Um, you know, it was like, um, it was like, you know, a match made in heaven, I, I, I should say, right? But like, the whole point of Master League was to create your own experience, as I said there. And I think with eFootball, they have kind of gone to extreme lengths to show that eFootball is not Pez. Yes, it's the same development team. It's roughly, you know, the same kind of like, uh, it's obviously the same company behind it, Konami. Same uh, development team, as I said. Uh, you know, same, like there's essence of the gameplay, the graphics, the, the modes, like obviously that will be coming in the future, either renamed or revamped, such as like Dream Team uh, succeed in my club. There's obviously a lot of the breadcrumbs still there from the Pez franchise, but the fact that they have, you know, rebranded, they've renamed all the modes, uh, they've gone free to play, they've gone an ever-evolving model, they're bringing out new seasons and match passes and objectives and dream team and, like, they're trying so many different things and the lack of edit mode and Master League at launch means that this isn't a Pez title, you know what I mean? This is an eFootball title and I've kind of like said that for a long time, right? We all remember, as I said, I'm going through edit mode here. We all remember going in editing the player's stats. I use edit the player stats to put them all 99 when I was playing my older brother or my older cousin because they'd smash me otherwise before I uh, before I was any bit good at the game. Um, and like we all remember playing Roberto Carlos up front as a striker. Like, but that's the thing, man. Like eFootball is a is a brand new thing. Even though it's not a brand new thing, it is still a brand new thing the way that they're the way that Konami are treating it because it's 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 a new kind of it's a new way of launching the game and that's not going to be for everybody and especially like with master league when you're looking at master league releasing in 2023 right like nobody would have thought that a new pez title or you know from the developers behind pez 
that a Master League or an offline aspect of the game mode or an offline league would be coming a full year after launch, right? And I think that they've kind of come out and said that in a couple of interviews, that they are a bit behind. Even in the in the previous interview that they did there a few days ago with PK, they said that, like, look, they're aware of the criticism that came at launch and they're working on it to improve the game, improve the modes. But at the end of the day, they want to have things probably right, you know? Is it good enough in this day and age? Um, I would, I would like definitely want Master League to be coming a lot sooner. As I said, you know, Pez Universe and like all that, like that's our bread and butter, like Master League. I love playing Master League. I've been a massive fan of it. But at the same time, you know, we can only talk about and discuss like what's actually there to play and what's there to play at the moment, in my opinion, is a very, very, very fun game. Like it's a very fun game from a gameplay point of view. It's just that there is no modes there and that will like not be good enough for some people that will look elsewhere and they'll come back in a couple of months time and see what way things are. Uh, but it'll also be good enough for people that are really enjoying Dream Team and that are happy to wait for Master League. So I think that it creates a big discussion in the community and it creates a big kind of talking point that you're on one side or the other. Um, I mean, it's, it's a very difficult one because Pez was always Master League in edit mode, as I keep saying, and being able to customize your experience and having a really in-depth mode to play it. Even with the weaker editions of Master League, they were still there and able to play it. But as I keep saying, lads, and as I've said on the podcast, like for hours and hours and hours repeating myself, like eFootball is not Pez. Yes, it's the successor of Pez, but it's similar to, you know, you really easily to, to kind of compare it. Look at my club compared to Dream Team. You're looking at my club. Could you buy players for GP? No. Can you in Dream Team? Yes. Could you buy a season pass and have objectives to complete uh, in my in my club? No. Will you be going to be able to in Dream Team in the next update? Yes, or whenever they bring match pass. You know what I'm saying? Like, could you like train up players the way you can train them up in my club? Yes, but not as much as you could like in Dream Team. So it's kind of like the succession of that. And like some people prefer my club, some people love Dream Team, some people prefer the gameplay of Pez 21, some people prefer the eFootball gameplay. It's all relative to what your enjoyment out of it is going to be and what you're looking for. I think everyone, no matter if you are the, you know, most negative or most like disillusioned Pez fan or eFootball fan, or you're the most like positive person in the world. I don't think anyone could dispute the fact that they would want a Master League. I mean, nobody could say that like, oh yeah, I mean, I'm happy with the game the way it is. I don't want anything more. I mean, we always want more. We always want improvements. But I think it's about separating like what's there to play at the moment and then making the decision. Are you, know, are you happy to wait for a Master League? Or you know, is this the straw that broke the camel's back? I mean, that's something that only you can decide yourselves. Like, as I've said to you, like I played Dream Team this year and I probably had the best 1v1 experience online that I've had, even with all the annoyances, even with all a couple of the bugs that they're working on and a couple of the stuff that I would like to see improved, the responsiveness and stuff, I still had as much fun as I possibly could have. Like, I didn't think I'd enjoy Dream Team 1v1 as much as I did because I'm a huge co-op player with my club that I've played like about 500 hours of co-op last year and about 500 the year before. Um, I just love uh, co-op my club and that's not available in Dream Team at the moment. There's no co-op option. But like I enjoyed so much the actual core gameplay. I love just coming on and even playing against the offline you know, now that they've added 10 minute matches, like I play two or three of the offline events and just enjoy the gameplay of it. Um, and again, it keeps going back to like, you could start every video with a five minute, uh, you know, a five minute discussion point about complaining about the fact that there's no Master League there. But for this, like, I do think that at least we have some sort of um, acknowledgement of it now coming. I'm interested to see what they mean by limited edit mode, um, but we hopefully will be able to get a bit more news soon that I'll be able to share with you guys. But yeah, as I said, lads, look, it's never good news when we hear stuff that's, you know, like not, um, not coming out or we get a date and it's a long time away. But if you look around the game and industry, you look at Cyberpunk, you look at how Pez really or how eFootball released, and you look at all the games that are being delayed, such as the Harry Potter game, the Batman and Arkham uh, game, like the new Batman game. You look at all these games, The Witcher uh, remaster, remake, like you look at all these games that are spending a little bit more time in the oven. The reason for that is because they know that you can be dead on arrival as a game. 
like within the first week because word of mouth will absolutely bury you. Do you know what I mean? So like that's why I think that this is like important that they get Master League right. I, I think my opinion is to finalize this out and to my final point on it. You know, put it out when it's right. Put it out when it's right. Don't put it out a month or two uh, just to get it out. And I think that they've done that now. I think that they've kind of been open about this throughout interviews and said, listen, you know, we're a bit behind. We're not ready yet to put this out. We're still working on the concept of it. We're still figuring this out. We're figuring that out. The game for me at the moment, gameplay wise, I am absolutely loving. Like I'm really enjoying it. Um, I still have to play a bit more of V1.1. But yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts, right? Because we will be doing a bit of a podcast. We will be discussing a couple of your guys' opinions as well, just to see kind of the community warm or roundup of it. But yeah, let me know, lads. I will leave it there. Um, hopefully, there's some good discussion points in this. And as I said, just to close it off, I mean, eFootball is its own thing now. You know, it's a free-to-play title with modes being added on. You know, to, you'll be able to buy premium modes and stuff like that. Um, and, and that's going to be the business plan for them. You know, an ever-evolving mode that they're going to be adding huge updates to over the next couple of years, similar to Fortnite. You know, Fortnite is still Fortnite. It's not Fortnite 1, Fortnite 2, Fortnite 3. They're going to have seasonal updates, obviously, with the with the teams and the leagues and the new promoted teams and all that. But for, you know, at its core, it's going to be the same kind of base game that they're going to be continuing to work on. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think. And uh, if there's anything I didn't cover or didn't go into in detail, let me know in the comments below as well. But until next time, lads, I hope you enjoyed this discussion video. We will talk to you later. Peace.